I have just woken up from my slumber. <laughs> um, today is a push day, and um, I want to I want to try something a little different today. Uh, kind of. I mean, I'm gonna be doing the same typical workouts, kind of. But um, also, by the way, I don't know why, but in the morning, my voice is deeper. I like it. I might make more videos in the morning just because my voice is deeper. It it kind of evens out throughout like at the gym my voice is probably going to be back to normal but for some reason at least when i start the video my voice is decently at a lower decibel rate so that's 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 good maybe it's more soothing to you guys <laughs> but um nonetheless we're it's it's what i want to try today is um is there this this thing mike metzler said that um lowering the weight portion the lowering of the weight portion is the harder part of the portion the lifting part is is the weaker part of the lifting in in the sense so basically for example if you're doing like a, a bench press right when you lift it up right that's not really what's having the effect as much as on the muscle than the lowering of it so this motion isn't as effective as this motion so what he what mike messer would make uh his clients do is like for example also let's say on a a hamstring curl right lying down hamstring curl he would he would help i think he would help the them push the weight up but then give them a static hold and let them uh slowly lower the weight which would i guess be very effective so i'm not gonna be doing that for like the entire work because i'm not trying to have a person right next to me the entire time so what i'm probably gonna do is on the drop sets i might have assistance from a person right and then lower have uh them help me lift the weight and then i'll i'll slowly lower the weight right and that might be very effective but before we do go i'm gonna um, i'm gonna have a bowl of cereal uh, get a f bit of carbs and, and then we'll go uh, to the gym. No, first we'll go to the Boshi Mobile and have the have the diabolical pre guys, and then we'll hit we'll hit a very epic Sigma push <laughs> joke. I mean, we'll hit a good push day. Look at her. No, nah, not a care in the world. We have arrived at the Boshi Mobile. Let me put you guys down. All right. It's cold. Uh, literally uh, skipped. Um, what was it? It skipped fall. No, not even. It skipped. Yeah, no, it skipped fall. It's now. It's like thirty degrees. It's like winter weather now. Holy balls! I need to drink some water with this. Um, I'm, what? I need to drink some um, the pre with this. So I need to drink some of the water because it's completely filled. Man, it's, sun's on my my face let me drink some of this you know let me pour some of it out give it to the grass outside there you go perfect amount so it's not wasting water if you if you give it to the plants <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm tired, but not not in the not in the literal sense. You know, you know how you just say you're tired sometimes, and you just you're not tired, but you just say it. I don't know. All right, got the scoop of pre. Now let's get crazy. All right, it is now shaking time. Let's do a shake. Now it is it's chugging time. Let's flip and, let's flip and chug. <sighs> not terrible my eyes water up a bit um nothing much to be said uh all we're gonna do is have a great push day um if anything comes in my 
mine while driving. I'll I'll be sure to let you guys know about it. Let's let's flip and go. All right. So what is the plan for today's workout? I'm thinking first we start off with some Smith Machine incline uh, bench, and after that we do some pec deck. And uh, after pec deck, uh, I think I'm gonna do shoulder press because uh, my arms won't be tired from like a uh, inclined bench, right? Uh, so I won't be fatigued, right? And then after shoulder press, I'll probably do some heavy lat raises and then finish it off with some triceps. I think that'll be a pretty, pretty goaded workout um, for push. Uh, we'll be hitting the chest and the shoulders pretty well, right? Uh, Well-rounded and um, hey, if we have more time, then I'll do more. But uh, I don't know yet. We have to see. Oh God, the sun is really beaming on me, isn't it? All right, I'll see you guys there. All right, in order to get a sweet pump, we gotta take some sweet honey before we start this. Also, if you noticed, I have the inclined smith machine set up differently because someone actually told me, now that I think about it, the inclined smoking machine is kind of slanted so if i push this way it's going to be more in line with my uh, upper chest than if i were to push outwards like that so it may actually be harder to do it this way so i put it in two plates uh right so to play it safe right uh and if this weight is fine then i'm just going to keep it at this but if i can do this pretty fairly easily then i'm just gonna increase the weight uh but we will see but first honey comes first first comes um, also, I remember the spoon this time, I'm not using the finger, it's, uh, it seems like a good amount. Perfect. Alright. Let's start this flipping the workout and get a sweet pump. Alright. I'm definitely going to have to get used to the re-racking because I have to push it this way instead of that way. Alright. Come on. <gasps> That's pretty good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep it at that. Yeah, for sure. If if it gets easier to, uh, on the next set, then I might increase it. But we shall see. Ugh. This angle shall definitely prove to be interesting. Um, but uh, I added 2.5 on each side, so I added uh, uh, added five pounds in a, in a sense, right? Uh, so let's flip and do this. Hopefully, it goes up well. I think that went pretty well. All right, so here is the plan for this uh, set. First, we're gonna do the normal six reps, hopefully, if we can get all of them. But once I say help with this guy, what he's gonna help me is with the positives. And I'm gonna control the negatives down, and then he's gonna help me with each positive so I can get the thing I was talking about in the beginning, like what Mike Messler said was probably better. Uh, to do and I'm gonna test that out for a bit and see if that like I see much more progress either way I know I'm gonna see a bit of progress in the beginning because it's gonna be a shock factor to the muscles, right? Um, but after that I'm gonna drop set and then do the same exact thing. So let's uh, flip, and, flip and go man Not yet Let go. Help. Ugh. Help. Help. Ugh. Help. Ugh. 
Oh, Alright, let's drop this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Not these. Alright, up. 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 Ugh. Up. 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 One more. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that much more often. Holy flip. Thank you, G. We're gonna be doing some peck deck next. Um, mainly because we won't have too much strain on the pushing part of my body, right? It's more of like a, I don't even know, I guess like a pull, <laughs> but like it's working out my chest, so it's considered a push workout. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do this so we can hit, hopefully hit shoulder press pretty well in the, for our next workout. So we're gonna go. Second set, hopefully I don't hit the camera with the peck deck bars. Gonna be the last set. Um, we're not gonna do a drop set with this one because um, I don't want to be too fatigued when I'm doing a shoulder press. So let's look and go. Shoulder press. We're gonna try this way first. Uh, we're gonna try the 90s first, right? And after if it's too heavy, we'll lower it. But if it's not, then we'll keep it. If it's very good, then we'll increase it. So we go. Just spot me on the all the way, all the way. Right the way. Woo. Yeah, let's lower it. Oh man, I lowered it to 80. Man, I guess uh, the incline Smith machine took more out of me than I thought. Yeah. Perfect. For this set, 
Uh, it's gonna be very similar to the incline uh, Smith machine. First, we're gonna do the regular working set, right? And once I'm like done with that, he's gonna, this young fine gentleman is gonna help me on the positives, right? And I'm gonna control the negatives by myself. Then we'll drop the weight and do the exact same thing. So basically, exactly the same type of technique that we're doing on the incline Smith machine. So let's flip and go. All right, all the way. I don't think it's gonna work with the heavy weight. Let's do light. We're gonna do it on the drop set instead because the heavy weight is kind of risky, not gonna lie. That help. All the way. All right. One more. One more. Alright. This is some heavy lat raises. You'll never get a fake reaction from me. Because then that's just. What is it called? That just. uh, Can't even think. Let me find the word really quick. That just. um, Limiting me. I don't even know. It's harming myself if, I, if, I'm, if I'm giving you fake reaction. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, next, we're gonna be doing some heavy lat raises. So let's just get to it. I'm actually gonna use chalk uh, to get a better grip on the weights. The last set, and then um, when I do the like uh, the drop set, base. I mean, it's gonna be till failure partials, right? I'm gonna try controlling the weight down. So when I'm lowering the weight, so kind of like the same idea of what I was doing on incline Smith and um, incline dumbbell shoulder press, right? Um, and then I'm gonna drop set and do the same exact thing. So I'm gonna use momentum to bring it up because I don't really have anyone to uh, in the gym to help me on the th on the lift part right so you'll see the difference between what momentum is and what momentum isn't on this uh heavy uh dumbbell lat raises so let's flip and go all right let's use some momentum and so all right hopefully we can do it No, let's let's uh, drop that with lower weight. We got thirties. <coughs> oh, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <sighs> oh. I think I only got two more. Let's try three.
Okay. Oh. There is someone boxing in the back, so my apologies for the the thudding. But we're uh, doing machine dips instead of regular dips like usual. Um, I would do regular dips, don't get me wrong, with weight too. But the thing is, the dip machine here is very unstable. If, if, if you guys have a stable dip machine, I would really recommend you guys um, to do it on the regular dip, um, not machine, but dip like stand, right? So I would recommend you guys do it there. But uh, if, you guys, if you guys don't and you have a dip machine like this one, then I would just recommend doing it here. So uh, let's get started. Oh, that's good. We're one away from the full set. Honestly, I, can't, I think I can do the full set, I'm not gonna lie. We'll try the next set. Um, but yeah, sounds good. Silly time. Also, right now might be the perfect time to put the mic on the beard just because this spot is just so loud for some reason. Um, and very echoey. So maybe this will help isolate my voice over the banging and stuff in the in the back, plus the music, so it's been, it's been go, plus I got the full stack on, I'm gonna see if I can do it. said what we're gonna be doing is um, uh, the same logic that we've been using on the incline Smith machine the incline dumbbell shoulder press you know controlling the lower portion uh, lowering portion of like the workout and um, not as much using the, the lifting portion if you get what I mean so like we're gonna control when we're like going back up. So you know how this goes down like that? We're gonna control it when we're going up like this. So hopefully it goes well and then we'll drop set and do the same thing. Uh, by the way, I'm keeping the mic on the beard because the audio is just better. So I'm just gonna risk uh, if it falls or not. My bad if it falls, but hey, you guys at least will get a uh, good audio for like, I don't know how long it stays. And that's not a good sign. By the way, we're going to be doing that controlling portion after we do the, all the rest for the working set. All right, uh, that was really good. Let's uh, drop side it, because I don't think we can control it on the lowering with this weight. I'll put the weight and the mic on like this, so this is closer to the mouth. I forgot the mic fell. My efforts went in vain. But uh, I don't think there was any, 
Anyway, I was getting another rip with that. If I had someone, maybe, uh, if I had someone like helping me with the uh, assisted, um, you know what I mean, uh, then maybe I could have, I could have definitely gotten a few more, but uh, I'm, I'm alone. I'm a lone wolf. All right, let's check the freaking pump. All right, I got the mic right here. Hopefully, it does not fall. Is that a smudge? Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it just in case it messes with the pump. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that will mess with the pump. All right, let's take off the flipping uh, pump cover. All I know is my triceps have a pretty good freaking pump right now. Uh, uh, oh, okay, wait. Let's take it off fully. It's not that crazy right now. Something crazy after I start flexing. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, let me let me angle it better. Let me get put you guys right there. In reality, that looks pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at the striations on my on my uh, uh, front delt. It's looking pretty crazy. I feel like we're getting wider and wider. That's for sure. Striations on the chest also looking quite immaculate too. Uh, let's get a tricep pose because we hit triceps last. <sighs> Let me angle it. Oh yeah. <sighs> That's looking pretty good. Pretty saucy, babe. <sighs> I wish there was a way to like, I don't know, get it down lighting from the sunlight here. That's still looking pretty crazy. Look at the look at the striations on the side delt. Holy, <laughs> oh my god! Now, um, let's get a, the triceps from under. Oh my, they're like biceps, but but inside instead they're like underneath my arms instead of on top. Okay. All right now, let's get um chest flex right. They're like down here. That's looking pretty crazy. Let's get it from the side. That's also looking pretty saucy too. Upper chest definitely growing. That's, a, that's for sure. Let's get it from more of the sunlight. I'm trying to get the striations to show. I know. I know, I hope, I hope like it's, it's looking pretty crazy. Um, what's another pose that we can do? Ah, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think. We can uh, do this, we can, <laughs> uh, let me think. Let's think of some poses. Um, I mean, I think we did all of them. I mean, we can uh, just do a front shoulder pose like this. That's looking pretty crazy. Just, just like a little, you, you didn't do your homework. <laughs> All right, let's do some breath holds because I, I can't think of any other poses right now. Get a, the tricep with the with the breath hold. Hey, that looked pretty good. Let's get a breath hold with just like the menacing stance. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, let's do a little one right here. This one. I 
can't really do it from here because I'm, I'm not a lefty I'm a righty, so I know how to flex it better here. I don't know. You know what? I want to try a different angle. Let's see how it looks from uh, f the front way. Eh, I don't know. It's probably not going to look that different, honestly. Uh, we'll, we'll do like a quick pose sesh, maybe, maybe like a, I don't know, 40 second pose sesh with the light facing towards me. Maybe, let's see if that looks any different. You know what, I might actually do it from the lamp light now that I think about it, because I want the down light on the tricep, right? So. I hope that looks pretty saucy. Oh, there's tricep. Oh yeah. Now let's get it with the pec, side pec. Oh yeah. Definitely see the striations on there. Let's get a, like a front delt pre, uh, flex. Definitely see the striations there. Holy flip. Yeah. I think it's because it's the downlight, you know? So it's like, you know, if you think about lighting and how lighting works, you know, the shadows, and stuff, well, you know what I mean. But yeah, that, and that's looking pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. All right, let's, uh, let's get into the car. The Boshi Mobile. I got to start going in the morning more often. Dude, the freaking lighting and the, and the, what is it, the window where it comes from the side. Dude, that's, it's so good. It's like, it's like uh, especially on the shoulder striations, that freaking amazing, immaculate. Uh, I gotta wake up at like 6 a.m. like David Goggins. The weather right now feels so much better than it did in the morning just because like my muscles are all like freaking warm now. So it's like a extra coat. But it's like not a cold, it's like freaking just cold outside, but like warm inside. This feels good. I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, it's so bright. Look at the look at these two. They, they don't know what's coming to them. Freaking you'll be sauteed and you'll be grilled. Alright, let's take our vitamins. Alright, it's time to take the vitamins. We already had a uh, at uh, Captain Crunch in the morning, so we have some food in our system. So first, we're gonna take the C, D, and Zinc vitamins. Oh shoot! How many? How many do we take? We take two gummies. All right. Oh man. Uh, listen, my gummies, cause they taste good. I like when I'm taking my vitamins. I wanna enjoy it, right? What? Uh, Ashwagandha gummies. We're always stuck. All right, we got two, two ashwagandha gummies. No, I should start having the gummies already like set up. So, like I just like label them. Okay, so have the gummies already out of the container before I start eating them, just so it's faster. All right, the magnesium ones. Magnesium ones are my favorite because they got like a little coating of like sugar too. I don't know if it's sugar or whatever, but it definitely tastes the best. It tastes like blue raspberry. All right, let's have it. Mm. So good. All right. Now, I'm going to take the fish oil pills, the vitamin E pills, and the bison pills. Is my hair in my way? There you go. I don't know, I look like a, do I look like an emo boy? <laughs> All right. We need one vitamin E, one fish oil, and one biotin gummy. Then I gotta take a shower and uh, start heading to school. Got uh, We got my material sciences um, uh, class today. Shoot, did I? All right, there was my water. I was scared I left my water at the gym, but luckily I did not. 
don't worry, I swallowed it before with the water. I just have, I just, I don't know. It's nice having water after you just swallow some pills, right? All right, took the biotin, took the vitamin E. All right, that's all the gummies. That's all the vitamins. Um, I'll record maybe what I eat uh, right now, actually. So if I, if I have time, of course, but I, cause I still have to take, I'm gonna take a quick shower. And after I take a shower, uh, then we, we head to uh, school. But if I have time after the shower, I'm going to eat a little something. And I'll show you guys what I'm eating. All right. So, I got... Uh, this is 207 grams of chicken. The freaking... The, the, the weighing scale turned off. But I'm going to measure the chicken, right? 207 grams. And then measure the bones after I eat it. And uh, I'll subtract the, the, the full weight... My, um, this is mom review. <laughs> uh, I'm going to subtract the full weight by the, by the bones, <laughs> by the bones. And then, uh, and then I'll get, label it as chicken breast in the, in the Cali tracker. Uh, I will see you goobers in the next video. Then I, if I, unless I record something after this, cause I got to get a class. I decided to do a chicken speed run because why not? It's kind of funny. All right, we're getting to class now. Let's fucking go. Let's get studious. We're actually pretty good on time. We're only like five minutes late. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. But that's the end of this video. We'll see you goobers in the, in the next one.